everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm JBB. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I am going to be reviewing the new Kylie Cosmetics and Kendall collab. I have the whole bundle here that I'm going to be using on my face. I'm super excited to try some of these things out. I know there's some new formulas and new items in here that I want to try out. So if you are excited to see what's in here, how it works, is it worth it, is it not, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and we will get right into to it. Alright guys, so today I am going to be doing like a first impression slash makeup look slash review of the new Kylie and Kendall collab that they did. I have all of the items. Um, I did honestly want to get the PR package, but sadly that sold out within 30 seconds. But like the more I think about it, cause I was kind of upset. I'm not going to lie. Cause I was on there for like an hour before just waiting with like three different electronics. But the more I think about it, the whole bundle was 155 maybe. And the PR package was 310. So that's like a lot more for just their signatures. So like for me, I would think that somebody like that would maybe just say, hey, there's 200, you know, the first 200 people that buy the collection get a signed box for free. So, but I mean, make your money, make your money. That's fine. I'm just saying. It would have been nicer to do it the other way. So, I got a postcard in here and the packing slip as usual. So, we have the palette. It is a pressed powder palette. So, you get 15 shadows in this palette and it is $42. And then we have the lip blush kit, which is $26, and it's called Sister Sister. You get the lip blush and a lip liner. And then you have the, this is a new formula that I was telling you, there's a couple of new things in here. The blotting powder, which is in translucent, and that is $24. And then you get a high gloss in Can I Borrow That? And that one is $16. And then another new formula is the Everywhere, Everything Everywhere Gloss. And this is in the shade, is there a shade? I don't think so. I don't think it's a shade. So that one retails for $18. And then you have the three sticks, like their face sticks. So you have a Kylate stick, a blush stick, and a bronzer stick in the shades Spotlight, Runway, and Act Natural. And I believe this is also a new formula and she also has more bronzer sticks on her website. So if this is not the shade for me and I like the formula, I might go ahead and try those. So basically those are the prices. Um, I have to say for the packaging, I'm not gonna lie, it might be one of my favorite that she's done thus far. Like, I just love that the little containers just can like kind of go together or be separate. I love the modeling that Kendall is doing in a lot of these. She looks stunning, they both look stunning. So, off the bat, I love the packaging. Um, it's just very sleek and it just screams like very Kendall vibes to me. So I will probably be keeping this packaging, which I've actually stopped doing for a while. Um, unfortunately, I do not have the PR box that it goes in, but I do really, really enjoy the packaging. So the one thing that I don't know that I will really use very often is going to be the blotting powder. Now I will tell you I opened this the other day because I just wanted to see it on my regular like just skin without makeup because sometimes my eyelids will get oily. Like if you're not new here then you know I am super dry all of the time. Um, but for some reason during the summer my eyelids will get super oily and I used it on that and it, it did mattify it. It really did but it's just such a weird um, formula I guess. So you get like a little blotting pad. And it has a mirror and it is literally just this white blotting but it's a cream if that makes any sense at all so I'm gonna leave that to the side and I'll leave that for you guys to kind of review and debate on your own I apologize but I don't want to give you information that I don't really I'm not really educated on I guess so we're gonna move on to the eyeshadow palette so what I'm going to be doing, I think I'm going to go in with like a natural look. Like I know that there are some really super cool colors in here and I'll swatch a couple of them. Um, but for me, 
I just want to kind of do a natural so I can use the everywhere that everything everywhere gloss everything everywhere gloss on my eyelids to kind of see how it works but this is the palette you do get like a lot of summer springy orange and green vibes also some pinks and I really like that um, they only put like three shimmers in here and then the rest are mattes I find that to be kind of weird I just wish that there were more shimmers in here but you have like your natural colors over here your neutrals which is literally like this this whole scene right here like these two and these three are very similar in color just like one or two shades off so that's kind of weird but it just it definitely screams Kendall's because when you see her you don't see her in a lot of vibrant crazy makeup so it definitely does scream Kendall for me so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch each row for you okay so this is the first five that we have we have model energy November 3rd twice the ice I'm telling mom and then to the moon and back so I really do love to the moon and back it is pretty vibrant and I also like I'm telling mom these two right here are pretty fairly just your shimmery golden bronze and a silver shimmer so I'm not really too impressed by that and this is obviously just your neutral brow bone color which I don't know why I even swatch but got to swatch it for you the formula is nice as always the mattes are really nice the shimmers actually were not bad I thought that they were gonna be more chalky from how they look but they did not swatch very chalky so I'm gonna go to the next one okay so the next row I have here is cup of tea you're tiny and cute, runs in the family, thicker than water, and then here Kenny Kenny. So I absolutely love this color and I think that this color is going to be a beautiful summer and spring color. Um, the orange is really nice right here and the yellow is more vibrant than I thought. And then I really like this blush color. The brown cup of tea, it's just a transition brown. Um, but the blush color, the pink blush, like I don't know why, it's just like pulling me to it even though all those other colors are so vibrant and pretty I just love that blush pink okay and for the last row we have brunettes do it best love you sister loyal Scorpio energy and then name a more iconic duo so I feel like this row is very bland I really like this color right here this is the Scorpio energy they kind of have a lot of fallout um, the more I dig into them, which isn't terrible, but if you don't like fallout, then you might have an issue with this palette. The purple is not as pigmented as I wish that it would be, and Love You Sister just seems to be a darker version of Your Tiny and Cute. It's like that blushy brown color, and then Loyal is literally another taupey brown, and then you have Brunette's Do It Best, which is a dark brown. So I don't think that this palette is a very unique um but I don't think it's bad I think that if you love neutrals with a little bit of pop of fun then this might be a palette that you're gonna enjoy but as for it being like <sighs> slam like oh awesome new innovative no so we're gonna go ahead and start the eye look and then I will be doing the rest of it as I do my face so like I said I'm going to try to do a little bit more of a natural neutral kind of vibe matte and then I'm gonna go over it with that everything everywhere gloss so the first color I'm gonna go into is gonna be loyal and there is quite a bit of fallout coming out of this pan actually so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my crease right here and just start to blend it out Oil is it is just your normal taupe but your girl loves a good taupey transition color so I'm looking for I'm gonna start doing more like first impression videos of makeup that I've never tried I put it on my community tab of my channel but I want you guys to go ahead and let me know like products that you have that maybe I have not seen up that I may not have seen or may not have heard of and you want me to try and give you my first impressions or maybe stuff that you don't have but you kind of like you're curious as to if it's worth it or not I want to start doing more of those on my channel so per the usual her mats are really nice they work very well for me I don't usually have any issues with them um, it blended out very well it's not patchy there is fallout 
there is. I cannot tell a lie. But again, for me, Fallout is not a make or break in a palette. So I'm going to go in to the crease crease now and not blend it up with Brunette's Do It Best, that dark brown shade right here. I think I'm actually going to bring it down to my lid as well. So I'm taking Brunette's Do It Best and I'm putting it on the lid and blending it to the crease. I am going to have a super natural look today just because I feel like that is Kendall's vibe. Like that's just who she is. And I like that about her. This is such a natural vibe. I haven't done like a natural, natural look like this in a long time. All right, so now I'm gonna go back into Loyal and just kind of blend it out so it is not as harsh. Okay, so that is what I'm gonna do with the eyeshadow palette for right now. Um, I'm gonna move on to that Everything Everywhere gloss. So far, I don't mind this palette. I don't think that it's like super innovative, but it's not terrible. It did its job. All right, so the Everything Everywhere gloss. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a brush on one and then my finger with another. All right, so I'm gonna dip it on a brush, just a packing brush, and I'm going to lay it across the lid over that dark brown. Ah, I got on my eye blushes. So basically what it it doesn't look like glitter, it just looks like I put lip gloss on my lid and it's sticky. So basically what it did was it just turned my lid color into the like a lighter chocolate brown. So now I have to try to go back in in that crease and darken this up real quick. It's like if you're like cool I have oily lids and you just left them oily and did nothing about it. Or like if you took a super amount of concealer and left it on your eye and didn't blend it out or like powder it. That's what I feel like. Maybe I put too much. I'm gonna go in with a little bit less with my finger and blot it on this eye. I don't understand the point of this product. I, this is ridiculous. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go back in with a brush with some of that and just try to even it out because this is not it for me. Really a problem and I have hooded eyes. So like that's another problem. This is probably super nice for people who do not have hooded eyes. If you have hooded eyes, then basically all you're doing is sticking your lid to the hood of your eyes. Um, hate that. Hate that. And I'm not gonna try to lay your eyeshadow over it because I feel like if I did that, it's going to be extremely gross okay so that's definitely a no for me all right so I'm gonna go put my foundation and stuff on and then we are gonna get into the actual face products that she has we'll be right back all right guys so I went ahead I did my full face my foundation my concealer my setting powder and then I did my under eye with loyal and then the inner corner with twice the ice which it actually wound up being a pretty nice shimmer um it gave me like a lot of shine in there with just one dab of it so I don't think that that's bad um still not a fan of this gloss stuff so if you have oily eyelids already, it's going to kind of make that stand out more. And also, I put on my favorite foundation, which is the Milk Makeup Blur foundation, and I've been out in the sun a lot, and I soak up the sun, <laughs> like, really good. So I'm hoping that her bronzing stick will kind of even me out because... <laughs> I look like I'm like two different colors like this. Okay, cool. Here we are. See, that's my normal like this is normal. This is because I've been in the sun. So bear with me. I know that my foundation does not match. It's not a normal thing for me. It's just what we're going through. All right. So the next one is Act Natural, which is the bronzing stick. And it comes with Kendall's name on it. And it's just a round 
stick. It kind of reminds me of the ColourPop ones. I'm aware that she uses like their lab or whatever. So it doesn't surprise me at all. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch that on my arm. Oh, I think that's going to be way too cool to <laughs> All right, we're just gonna go in. Oh. oh, oh my God, that's so cool tone, and it's like it blend it blends out to like nothing. Where it does give me like a contour effect, but it makes me look kind of gray over here. This is way too cool tone for my skin. So I'm gonna try to go over here, but I'm gonna try to go a little harder, so I can have more. To blend out and see what happens so it's blending out to basically nothing and it's super patchy so what I want to try to do is maybe warm it up on my hand like this and then dab my blender on it and see if I can get it to do that that way probably not Oh, okay. Have something a little bit better like if you can look it's so patchy and blending out to nothing. I'm gonna get a bronzer and actually use that and put it on. Now that I have fixed that mess, um, that's gonna be a no for me. I'm gonna have to give that to somebody with lighter skin than me. <laughs> ah. All right, we're gonna move on to the blush. So I went ahead and swatched that for you. It is actually a really pretty color, so I'm hoping she works. All right. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we're going in. I do not hate the blush. I do feel like maybe I need to use my finger to blend it out because it's kind of um lifting with the beauty blender. I don't mind it and it's kind of like super creamy so it gives me like look like a naturally glowy cheek I don't hate that I do not hate that I wish that it was a little darker so I'm hoping she comes out with more of them and I think without makeup it's going to be fantastic and if you're like me like yeah I wear makeup on here all the time but you think I wear makeup every day? <laughs> no. And I've been teleworking since March, so once I go back to work, whenever that might be, you think your girl is getting up at like four o'clock in the morning to do a full face of makeup? No. Thank you, cream sticks. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to try to do the highlighter. Oh, let me swatch it for you. So it's just like a nice silvery, it has some yellow undertones, but it's it's fairly light. Okay, and I'm also gonna go in with the beauty blender on this one. I mean, I feel like it it definitely lifted a lot of that highlighter. So I'm gonna try with my finger over here. So I think I prefer for blending it with the sponge with the beauty blender because I don't th I think when I blend it with my finger it does the highlighter lifts my makeup I don't know that I like this so much so putting it directly on my face with my finger was much better and I had a little bit more success for that. I prefer um, a more blingy, shining from the stars kind of highlighter if you know what I mean. So the next thing we're going to do is the lip kit. It's the blush lip kit. Now the last time I got her blushes I think they were with a summer collection she did and I was not a fan. So here we go. So it is that same like blush color that's in the palette and I really enjoy that. Um, I do really, really love her um, lip liner so I don't have any complaints about that. Just going with the lip blush. And also this is really cute. Like it just says candle up. It's very sleek. I don't know. I just love 
the simpl simplicity of this collection. I just love this color so pretty. I love blush pink. It's just my shit. Ooh. It's just my favorite color and I really love how it looks on my skin tone. It seems, I mean it doesn't seem as dry like when I tried those summer ones it was super dry and I just didn't like it. But I feel like with the lip liner underneath it actually doesn't feel so bad. The final piece to the collection is the high gloss. I believe is also yes in this beautiful pinky blushy color so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it right here for you let me get you a thicker swatch so it's just like a shimmery pink I'm gonna put it actually over this just to kind of see I know I like her high glosses I have a ton of them and it looks beautiful over this color for sure so I feel like this one is you can take it or leave it I mean, it's a lip gloss, so if you like her lip glosses, I like them, then I think that you'll enjoy it. But let me soak my face. All right, so we're going to talk about what I liked, what I disliked, what I will never in my life buy from her company again. You know, that kind of thing. Is it even her company anymore? I don't remember. Um, so the blotting powder, unfortunately, I don't really have a say on that because I don't have oily skin. I don't use blotting anything. So take that or leave it. The palette, it was nice. Um, it's fairly small for $42, but that's kind of like her thing. You did get 15 shadows, they're pretty. You have some neutrals, some colors. I don't hate it, um, but it just depends on if you really want to spend $42 on it. I think it's good. It does have some slight fallout, so just keep that in mind. Um, the lip blush, I thought I was going to hate it. I actually like this a lot, but it was like actually my, this was actually like my number one favorite item, the liner and the lip blush, and I just love, this is my favorite package of both of them, I don't know why. Um, the high gloss, again, I like her glosses, I love that this one does not have glitter in it, but it's just a, it's just a lip gloss. Um, the sticks, the only one I liked out of this was the blush. I think that the bronzer would have had more success had it not been such a cool tone color because it just looks dirty on me and not bronzy. Um, as for the highlighter, I did not like it. I mean, it does give me like this natural glowy look, but so did the blush, so I feel like I didn't even really need this. Um, I just wish it was a thicker formula. I think that they would look really fantastic on my face without makeup on, but as for with makeup, it's not, I'm gonna give it a no. This everything, every whatever, everywhere, every crap, every, 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 everything glossy, whatever this is, it's a no. It's a no, 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 no. Don't waste your money on this. I don't know what the point of this is. I'm not putting this thick gel oil on my face. If you have oily skin, I 100% do not recommend you putting this on your face. Um, it lifted my eyeshadow. It's showing as if I have oily creasing eyes, like it's clumping my eyeshadow. So, just a no. That was a waste. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. Um, go ahead and let me know if you guys got any of the pieces of this collection. Did you get the whole collection? Were you lucky enough to get the PR signed box? Comment and let me know because I'm wondering who the 200 people in this whole world were that got these boxes. But I don't think that it is worth paying the $155 for the whole collection. Just pick and choose the pieces that you think are going to be best for you. And I just wanted to do a quick reminder that today is the last day to enter my huge giveaway. It will be linked up here and in the description box. Um, it ends today, July 7th at midnight and I will be announcing Thursday on my video. So as always guys, I hope you have a wonderful week. I will see you on the next one. Bye!